case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court case Chaydez v. United States revolved around the retroactive application of the legal standard created in Padilla v. Kentucky. In Padilla, the court expanded the scope of the Sixth Amendment right to counsel to include advice about deportation consequences. In 2004, Roselva Chaydez was convicted of mail fraud without being informed that her offense would lead to mandatory removal from the country as a non-citizen. Deportation proceedings were initiated against her in 2009 after an application for citizenship alerted immigration officials to her prior conviction. Chaydez sought to overturn her conviction by filing a petition for a writ of quorum nobis in federal district court, arguing that her former attorney's failure to advise her of the immigration consequences of pleading guilty constituted ineffective assistance of counsel under the Sixth Amendment. The district court vacated her conviction in 2010. However, the government argued that she could not benefit from the Padilla ruling because it announced a new rule, and under the Teague standard, such rules do not apply in collateral challenges to already final convictions. The Supreme Court agreed with the government and held that Padilla does not have retroactive effect under Teague because it announced a new rule. Therefore, Chaydez's conviction remained vacated, but the decision does not have implications for other petitioners whose cases became final before Padilla. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.